Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to use Nova Skin to make mob skins. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's get to this. Now, this is Nova Skin. It's novaskin.me. There's the link for that. And right over here, we have the resource pack creator. And the first thing I want to point out here is that this site's a little bit on the old side. Notice our dates here, 2014, 2014. It's a little bit old, but it still works great for a lot of stuff. So click over here. Here we go. Now this is a beta program right there. So not everything works and not everything works properly. So there are some problems with this. So I'll show you how to use this effectively, even with those slight limitations. Now what we'll be doing is making a skin, making a mob skin. So if we go over here to entities right here, click on that. And this takes you right into the mob section right in here. You see here we have our creeper right there, parrot, sheep, wolf, there's a zombie. Now these are all folders, so that means that these have several images in them. If there's only one image, if you scroll down, you'll see it right down here. For instance, the chicken only has just that one image in it. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do a zombie this time. I'll click on zombie. And in zombie, we have three options. We'll use just the standard zombie right there. Click on that one. And there's our zombie model. Now, a few things about how to actually work with this thing. First off, you can move this panel over here on the right-hand side around. Click on that little spot here. You can kind of drag it around anywhere you want to. So you can position that. At the bottom are the basic painting tools right across here. Or over here, this little icon there, this allows you to move your view around. So click on that and then drag, and you can move your view around like that. If you use the wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out with the wheel. Then you click outside someplace, you can drag around and look at different parts of the image this way. So it's pretty easy to see where you're at. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit here, make it a bit larger to work on. The bigger the better, you can go way in like this and then come down here and move us around a bit so you can really get in close. Right about there, so it just fits onto our screen. Okay, so pretty easy to do that. Now there are different ways of working this. If you wanna paint on something, right click on it and it selects just that one image. If there are overlapping images, right click again and it'll give you that overlapping image. You can then paint on that. Now, just that one shown, you can still move this around, describe it here, and you can look at all the different sides of that. There you go. If you roll over it, you'll see there's our painting grid. Right now I'm painting that in red, and then just tap in here to paint in your colors. There's a undo button right down there, it just backs up a few steps. Click again, and it goes back to your regular view. Now, on some different textures, like this one, there is an overlay. In this case, there's an overlay just on the head. Here's our flattened version. There's the head right here. To the right of that are these kind of green squares in there, green outline squares. This is an overlay on top of the head. So if I click once, there's the head. Click again, there's the overlay. And I can actually paint right on the overlay just like this. Just grab right here and pull it around. It's a little hard to see. But you can go ahead and do it just like that. Then I click again. There is that image with that overlay on it. You see it's kind of just outside a little bit. So you can do some fun things up in here just around the head on that overlay. You don't have to use that. You can just paint right on the head if you want to, but you do have that overlay for the head. Now some models, like the Steve model, there's overlays for the whole image. In this case, there's just an overlay just on the head section. If you want to erase something, the eraser tool is right here. Click on that and use the left mouse button to apply the eraser, same button that you're using to draw on. So right mouse button clicks you through, left mouse button draws or erases. Okay, that's our basics for moving around here. Now across the bottom is your painting palette down here, your painting tools. We have different color swatches. Each one of these can be set individually. Just click on one and you can bring up a color panel over here, right hand side. Notice that this also is that button right there. You can then change the color in here. And you can change it for each one of these, and then just go back and forth. So you can set your color theme down here and make it really easy to put your painting in. Here's a fill button right there. Here is a line button, draws a gradient line. Here's a rectangle and an ellipse. The eraser, of course, and a select. This is your right mouse button and an eyedropper for grabbing colors right from the skin. Notice your shortcut here is the middle click or the space bar to bring this up while you're working. Okay, going up here to our panel, that's your move tool right here. This tool shows you the path right there. This one's in Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Entity, Zombie, and the name is Zombie PNG. The same thing over here on the left-hand side. There's the name of your file right here, and these are the folders that it's inside of. 
we'll be using this when we set up our resource pack to put this into the resource pack. So it's really easy to see that right there. Saves you a lot of time. Magnifying glass here can do a search. I'm not bothering with a search because of course we got right to what we're looking for over there easily enough. There is your color picker. Left hand side, we just saw this over here. That's your folder structure. Across the top, a few things up here. If you want to, you can show an outline. There it is. Or you can put a shadow on like that to see how a shadow works on it. I really just leave all that stuff off and I leave it out that it's a basic setting in there. This centers the model on your view if you've got an off center. Mine's still on center, so nothing on that one. Now you can go full screen on this if you want to and then hit the escape key to come back out of full screen. Zoom in, zoom out stuff right there, of course. Now here's an animation. There's an automatic animation that's built in so you can kind of see how it's going to look when it's inside the game just by clicking on the animation like that. Again, this is not going to be affecting how it actually works in the game. You can select different parts right here. Head, headwear, body, right arm, left arm. This is the same thing as right clicking like we just did there. So I just use the right clicker. Now the image editor takes this over here and you can actually work on this on the flat view, but it's just easier to do this on the 3D view. So I'll just go back to our editor right there and not bother with that image editor. Okay, you can save it right here. We'll be doing that. Okay, so that's all the basic stuff in here. Let's now come in and actually change our model a little bit. So just click outside to pull it around. Let's switch over here to the purple color right there, kind of blue purple. I'll start here and let's find something really kind of purplish. I'll pull a color slider up there. Just up here, just a little bit of a light purple. That's a pretty good spot right here. And set this out of pixel drawing right there. And then if you come in here and paint, it actually paints in a solid color. Again, to erase, just choose your eraser tool and same thing, you can then erase just like that. Let's right click so we can just see just the head, making it easier to do this. And again, here we are on our painting tool. And I'm just going to come in here and just kind of come around like that, just do a bit of a random look in here. And I'll bring the number of pixels up here to about four. Notice when you get up to four, you can begin coming in and painting some different effects in here. Here's kind of an interesting random thing. And I'll just paint this in. And this gives you more of a random effect, random color. So I think it's an easier way to come in and make it look very natural to the Minecraft effect, having just some randomness in there. So we'll just use this. We'll come back and we'll clean this up afterwards. But I'll use this as just my basic start. Again, click outside and drag around to paint the different parts. And I'm just clicking and just doing little short moves in here and getting just a bit of a color change on this and keeping it relatively random. It has a lot of nice kind of texture in there. Backside. So it's just a matter of going clear around the model and painting all the different sides for the part that you want to paint. Okay, again, click outside, pull it clear around. That looks good. Let's go underneath and let's get the bottom part as well. That black area is probably not going to show, but I'll get everything else. Okay, there's a lot of nice kind of basic coloration. Let's now come back to just a one pixel. I'll go a little bit darker on this. I'm going to put in just a few random ones in here, maybe some lighter ones just for some effect. Pull around like this. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Let's now fix those eyes, make them dark again. I'll go back to the black color and I'll just tap just a couple of times in there and make those good and dark right there as well. I think that's pretty good. Let's now do the arm. So right click and get just the arm showing. And same thing, let's go back to our kind of random purple one right here and let's set this back up to four and make it a bit darker again. And then I'll just come in and paint in some of this random stuff to change the color of that and pull around to get all the different sides. There we go. And this side over here, it's kind of a purpley blue thing. Then let's check this side looks good. Notice that the arms are just one. If you paint one, you're painting the other one as well. Oh, it's kind of a nice modeled purple skin in there. I think that looks pretty good. So we're good there. Let's now do something for his hat. So right click, right click again. And this is that grid or the overlay. And if this is go over here, you will go to this bright kind of gold color. And I'll just give him a headband. You can come outside here and click and drag. And we can paint along. I'm using the left mouse button for the painting and the right mouse button, of course, for changing the view we're working on. And let's see how that looks. Kind of funny, kind of a strange little headband in there. So there we go. So it's pretty easy, as you can see, to come in and paint this, make it look any way you want. Let's just change that mouth a bit, I think, in here. Let's go back here to our blacks. And let's right click, make sure we're on the head. There we go and then just paint in here looks good and right click again a couple of times we're back to our regular view 
Okay, so as you can see, pretty easy to do. For real detailed skin, it will take you some time to go through here and carefully paint everything and put in all your lines and everything else. So it takes some time to make a nice model, but that's the basics of how to paint in here. Let's just see how this looks when it's walking. Click on our play button. Here we go, there's our animation. I think that's kind of fun there, that weird headband, kind of strange purpley skin. Okay, so we've made our look in here. We have our new model. We now need to save this out so we can use it on our computer. And that's up here where it says save. Click right there and you want to download this. Go for the download button. There's your downloaded skin. You're going to right click and then save image as. So I'll just do a right click and save image as right here. And then save this on your computer. Now I set up a special folder here. I just called it mob. I put it on my C drive. You want to save this as the exact same name over here that it began with. This was zombie.png, so I'm going to change the name here to zombie.png. I'll just type over that. There we go, zombie.png and save. Okay, that's done. We can now go ahead and put this thing into a new resource pack. So for that, we need to build this folder structure over here and then bring in a couple more files, zip it up and put it into the game. Let me show you how that's done. Let me bring that drive window back up again here. There we go. Now I want to make this folder structure on the left hand side. So we'll start off with a new folder and call it assets. There we go. Inside of this, a new folder called Minecraft. Inside of this one, a new folder called textures. Notice I'm just copying what's over here. Inside of that, new folder entity. Inside of that, new folder zombie. There we go. Okay, let's go back to our mob folder. And then we can just drag this into the folders and work our way in right into that inside folder. And there we go, that's now in the right location. Okay, that part of our resource pack is now done. If you want to put other models, just add in their folders over here as you see that, just copy that in and you can put them all into the same resource pack if you want to. We'll have just this one though. Now we also need to have in here a pack MC meta file and a pack PNG file. Let me show you where you can find those. For that, I'm going to close down Nova Skin and I'll open up the launcher. Okay, here we are inside of the launcher. GoPro says installations and then find the latest release right here and click on this button right there. It's just to the right of that play button. Let's go folder, click on that. This then opens up the Minecraft folder and then scroll down until you see versions. It's right there. Open this one up and you want to find the most recent version of Minecraft. So scroll down, you'll find it right down here. Right now I'm playing in 116.5 right here. So go inside of this and you'll see two files, a jar file and a JSON file. If you don't see the extensions there, just go over here to view and click right there where it says file name extensions. You'll then see that you want to have this jar file. Okay, let me now bring back up that mobs folder and you want to right drag, right mouse button and drag and then copy. So that copies that jar file over here. We now need to open this thing up. If you have WinRAR or you have 7-Zip, it will open this up directly. If you don't have that, you can do this right here inside of Windows. Just click once in here and then type over where it says jar and make it say zip, so it says .zip. Click on yes, it's now just a regular zip file. Now right click on this and open in new window. There we go. And this opens up our whole window here. This is all the files inside of that file. Now you wanna scroll way down here. It's way down near the bottom all the way down here, just about there, and there we go. Here's your pack MC Meta and the pack PNG. Let's copy both of these over. So I'm just going to right drag those over and copy, and there we go, we now have those in here. So we have our pack MC Meta, our pack PNG, and the assets. At this point, you don't have to do anything with these. You can just leave them as is, and you'll be just fine. It's gonna work for you. If you want to change the description, it only really shows up when you're just loading in the game. But if you want to change that, you can open this up. I normally edit these inside of Notepad++. It's real easy. Just double click on this. Here's a Notepad++ file. The pack format will be correct because you're using the correct version for what you're playing. And then if you want to, you can change this line right here. Change the description. Make sure you don't lose those two quotation marks. I'll just call it New Zombie and choose Save. There we are. That's done. Now you can make the pack PNG anything you want. I'm gonna leave this one as this dirt block. I normally use my own custom one, but I'll leave it this time. Now this is just a 120 by 128 PNG file. It's all it is is just a square picture. If you want to, you can go to 256 by 256. That's what I normally do. You get more detail that way. But again, it's not really that important. This just shows up in the list. I'll show you where that shows up once we get down there. 
Okay, we're all set now to make this into a resource pack, and that's easy. Just grab your assets folder, hold the control key down, click over here and click right there, pack MC Meta and pack PNG. Go up here to share and zip, and then give it a name. Let's call that zombie. Okay, that's all ready to go. Now we need to put this into the game. So for that, let's go back here to the launcher, back there to that folder right there, and this time scroll down until you see resource packs, go into the resource packs, and it's in this folder here. I'm gonna change the view here to list, bring our other window back up again, and then just take this and just drag it over here like that, and now it's inside the game and ready to go. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Let's start the game and see how it goes. I'm playing an Optifine, but it uses the same folder as the release, so it's gonna work out just fine for us. Click on play, and let's load this into the game. Okay, here I go, I have a regular zombie back there in the background, looking pretty good, just kind of trapped in there. Let's just zip around so I can see him a bit better. There we go, so here's our regular zombie. Let's now change our resource pack. I'll hit the escape key, go into options, and resource packs, let's find our new resource pack. Left hand side here, someplace, there we go, zombie. There's our new zombie. Now this is where I change that in the resource pack and the pack.instrument, that's all that does. It just says new zombie here. And the icon, that's all that is. You only see it right here. Again, normally I like using this one here, but it doesn't really matter. Click on that arrow, goes over here, right hand side, it's all set to go. Choose done. Let that reload with that new resource pack and we'll then see our new zombie skin here in just a second. Click on done, back to game, and there we go. There's our new zombie with kind of a purpley skin and with that orange headband on there. So there it is, that's how easy it is to make new skins using the Nova Skin Resource Pack Editor. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.